guys just like any cryptocurrency the first thing you are going to need is a wallet and they have the kyla coin core wallet the latest version is version 3.3.0 so make sure you update to the latest version because it does say mandatory so you're going to click on this link right here and you're going to see the downloads are right here so i will have this page here linked down in the description now once you get it downloaded and synced up you're going to see this at first you can go to the hide button here go into file here and create your wallet it will make a wallet.dat file make sure you do save that as that is your backup for any type of core wallet if you mind raptorium pretty much anything else ravencoin and stuff and you used the core wallet before you will know there's no seed phrase but a wallet.dat file save that on a usb drive make sure you label it because they all get labeled the same and you don't want to mix those up so keep that in the back of your mind so once you get your wallet created you can simply come into here go to your receiving address and then make an address here by labeling it say cpu mining or something like that or just my wallet label it whatever you want then create the receiving address double click it down here and you can see this is my wallet address right here you can use it if you want highly recommended to mine to your own wallet next up on our list is obviously our mining software so it does sound like tt miner is currently the highest hashing miner out there and it was having some bugs but this version just released today that should fix everything as we know with any new algorithm any new coin any new anything minor updates come very fast and things are always changing so i have been waiting for something to finally be more stable and it sounds like it's finally here as the beta 2 version was a nice hash rate boost here but you have to look for your device and then manually enter it into there and then a lot of windows systems was actually glitching out i had one rig that it didn't really want to even run in the first place but now it sounds like that's all fixed so we're coming out with this how to mine and the latest version tt version 2024.2.1 beta 3 sounds like it's your answer so tt miner here does have a hive os wrapper so i'll show you how to set that up but we're gonna start things out in windows here so download the zip file so once you do download that and extract it you're gonna come into tt miner here and you're gonna get a bunch of bat files this is the tt miner application you may get windows calling this a virus like most miners they do that you're gonna to have to accept that and possibly re-download it again but make sure you do allow it to go through your windows firewall next up there's no bat file here designated for kyla coin itself i don't plan on mining uh, iron fish or anything so i'm just going to use this one i'm actually going to take this and just rename it i could just copy it and that'll be easier but i'm just going to go kyla coin right here hit the enter button and now we're just going to edit this bat file so let this open up yep more info run anyway because i know this is all good and now we're going to adjust some parameters so obviously our algorithm this is flex so dash a we're not mining fish as for iron fish we are mining flex for kyla coin so now we're going to need our wallet we're going to have to skip this we're not putting in any type of password so we don't need that there uh, so we're going to put in my wallet right here so i'm going to bring that back and I'm going to come into my wallet right here. I'm going to go into receive the one we set up here. And I'm going to copy this mining address. I can just simply click right here. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. Minimize that. Paste that in. Control V. Here's my wallet address right here that we're going to mine to. Worker, we're going to get rid of this. I am going to call this worker rabbit ws for rabbit workstation and now we got to put in our pool parameters so i'm going to come into viper here and as you can see you can pick solo or pplns which is pool mining start mining and then choose the closest stratum for you this is what i'm going to use for me so i'm going to copy this right here bring back our miner program here and i'm just going to erase this all the way to the little at symbol here bam and now we're all done this should work so we're going to hit file save that is saved up here i'm going to close this out open up this i got to shut down some cpu miners here first because i am recording the mining and now i'm going to double click on this bat file and it should begin mining so here you can see no dev fee it's doing its thing using two threads it's going to detect the algorithm and all this other crazy stuff and then it should begin the mining process There we go. As we can see, it kicked in. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So now you can see we found a solution. We got accepted hash rate. Everything's looking good. Now you can't judge your hash rate based on my numbers right now because one, I have a bunch of windows open. I'm recording. This is a 7950X as well as they got my GPU going. So there's a lot of things going on. So you will have less hash rate in windows if you have other things going on in the background. That's why Linux is always recommended 
or Hive OS or other things. But this is how you set this up in Windows. Let's move on to Hive OS and figure that out.